whoops, we were going to start chapter five, but there was noise and interruption in the house and I had to stop the video. So now we are reading chapter five of Where the Mountain Meets the Moon by Grace Lynn. Min Lee just finished talking to the goldfish. The next morning, Min Lee felt as if her head was spinning with thoughts and plans. She was so busy thinking and plotting that she barely noticed her parents nodding sadly at each other when they saw the empty fishbowl. And in the fields, when Min Lee worked as if in a daze, her parents said nothing about her slow and messy planting. When the sun began to set and Min Lee went home to make dinner, she quickly washed and made the rice. Then she set the table for two people, sat down, and wrote this note. Dear Ma and Ba, I am going to Never Ending Mountain to ask the old man of the moon how I can change our fortune. I might be away for many days, but don't worry, I will be fine. When I come back, we will be able to fill our house with gold and jade. Love your obedient daughter, Min Lee. The obedient part isn't completely true, Min Lee thought to herself, as she knew her parents would not be happy to find her gone. But it's not false, either. They didn't say I couldn't go, so I'm not being disobedient. Still, Min Lee knew that wasn't entirely right, either. But she shook away her uneasy feelings and prepared for her journey. On a blanket, she put a needle a pair of chopsticks, her white rabbit rice bowl, a small piece of dried bamboo, a hollow gourd full of water, a small knife, a fishnet, some uncooked rice, a large pot, and the one remaining copper coin. Then she wrapped her blanket into a bag, tied it on her back, and took a last look at the shabby house. Through the window, Fruitless Mountain stood like a shadow. But Min Lee closed her eyes and imagined the house shimmering with gold and the mountain jade green with trees and smiled. Then she opened the door and left.